What's good, tribe? Y'all, I'm taking it back. I'm taking it like the old days. How I used to just sit in the car and talk to you guys and just give a word, give a message. So today is going to be one of those days. Guys, we are talking about how to make yourself mentally strong. Yes, mentally strong. Not just physically, not flexing your muscles, but flexing your brain, flexing your emotions and all that stuff, guys. Being mentally strong is just even more important because everything that we go through, we have to think about. Not everything that we're gonna do in life, we have to actually physically carry or lift or whatever the case is. But everything that we go through, everything that we see, everything that we talk, everything that we hear, we have to process. So that uses your mentals. So guys, I just wanted to take the time out to just talk to you guys because I feel like a lot of times we find ourselves not being mentally strong and just being weak and feeling like, you know, nothing is working out for us and sometimes it's not even that it's just the way that we see things or the way that we are able to um, take things in so if you're new to peaceful ambition I just want to tell you now you want to stay throughout this whole video make sure you subscribe to me and hit that thumbs up for me you can also find me on Instagram as well as Facebook so as y'all see I'm driving so I can't be looking at the camera too much but I'm still going to try to have some eye contact with you guys to make sure that you guys feel this message Okay, so some of you guys may ask, what does it mean to be mentally strong? And in my opinion, guys, being mentally strong means, you know, you know where your goals are, you know who you are, you know things that's going to be in your way. And with all those things, it doesn't deter you away from your goals. It doesn't stop you from getting to where you want to go. You know that the road is not going to be a smooth road. You're going to expect some problems in between getting to wherever it is that you're going but no matter what you are mentally strong enough to keep pushing mentally strong enough to know despite the delays despite the things that may fall into place that doesn't look like it belongs i'm going to move it to the side or i'm going to make it work for me i put it towards my puzzle and i'm going to keep on being strong because where i am today is not where i'm going to be when i get to where i'm going so we really have to be strong guys we have to be mentally strong in just about everything that we do like i said earlier you know some people say being mentally strong is basically the foundation to life if you're able to mentally be that person that you know no matter what it's going on in your life you know that is only a period in time guys your foundation your roots will be so strong because you're not letting every little thing in life shake you up off the ground shake you out of your boots shake you out of your path you know you're rooted you're like i don't care what happens i don't care if this hurricane comes and try to blow me down i don't care about the negativity around me i don't care about the failures that i had in my past i am mentally strong enough to know that that is in my past i also know that whatever that's blowing me is making me stronger i know that the negativity around me is just, just going to make me more positive so we got to keep those mentals keep those mentals in place so we can keep that in place to keep our goals in place to keep our confidence in place and keep everything else in place so now guys i want to talk about how we can become mentally strong because you may be listening to me be like okay no i understand what it is to be mentally strong but how do i become that person how do i myself become strong so i have about four things guys that i started to do myself that actually helped me to really get my mentals on the max the maximum strength so i just want to share that with you guys okay people so the first point that i want to give to you guys on how to become mentally strong and i actually kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier ago guys is you have to have confidence you gotta have confidence guys when you are in situations when you feel like there is nowhere to turn sometimes the worst thing that you can do is beat yourself down feel like that you can't get out of that hole or talking to yourself negatively to put yourself more down in the dirt guys we got to build ourselves up it doesn't matter if it seems like there is no light at the end of the tunnel we have to have the confidence to know that there is a light even if I don't see it right now, I might have to move some things out the way to make that light for myself. Or maybe I need to travel a little deeper into it to find that light. But whatever the case is, guys, we got to have confidence to know that where I am, who I am, 
whatever situation it is that I am in right, right now is not going to stay that way. Who I am right now is not who I always have to be. So if I have confidence and I know mentally that I truly believe in myself, my mentals will be so much stronger because I'm relying on the confidence that I have in myself, the ability that I have in myself to get through anything, to change my perspective, to change the faults, to change the small habits or whatever the case is, things that I want to change about myself. Because I have the confidence, I know that I can accomplish it. And it gives me a peace of mind, which also gives me a strong mentality. So that's the first thing that I definitely did, guys. Build my confidence. All right, people. So number two, number two. So the second thing, guys, that I think is really important with helping you to become mentally strong is following through, being accountable for your actions. Like I said, guys, with confidence, you know, you have to rely on yourself to really know that, okay, I can do this. I have nothing to be worried about. That's the confidence within you. But also, we also have to be accountable for our actions and the actions that we don't do. We can have the confidence, but if we don't put actions behind our confidence, it's basically just blank confidence or it's no reason why we're so confident in ourselves if we're not putting the action behind it. You know, when I was in school, my teacher always taught me hard work brings about bring hard work brings good results you know if you're not working hard if you're not following through if you're not being accountable for the person that you are or the person that you want to become you know you're not going to have that confidence really on yourself because you're letting yourself down so we really have to follow through with our goals follow through with our habits that we want to kick follow through with the relationships that we want to make better Follow through, see those goals, write down those goals. Or if it's not just goals, you know, if there's tweaks that we want to make to ourselves, follow through with it. Remind yourself why you even made this a goal or made it something that you wanted to change about yourself. So we really have to remember those things. Okay, you know what? I told myself I want to stop cussing. So I'm going to continue to remind myself. I'm going to follow through with it. When I'm frustrated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deep breath rather than just talking and thinking because that's not going to put me to where I want to go. I'm going to follow through with what it is that I really want to accomplish. And when I see myself following through, I have more confidence within myself, which will make my mentals even stronger. So that's the second thing, guys. Follow through with what it is that you promise yourself to do. Rolling along, the number three thing that you can do to become more mentally strong is think long-term. Think about the far future. You know, a lot of times when I say make goals, you know, sometimes they are long-term goals just as much as short-term goals. But I feel like becoming mentally strong, sometimes we have to think about where we can be in a couple years, where we can be in a couple months or whatever the case is. Not always where we are now. Like I mentioned earlier, where we are now, who we are now is not who we are going to be years from now, where we're going to be years from now. So sometimes we have to say, you know what, I'm going to keep on being mentally strong. I'm going to keep on working at whatever it is that I'm working at so I can get to where I want to be in a couple years. Think about the future. Everything is in the present, of course. You definitely want to always work towards the future. So the last point that I want to give you guys, and even though this is my last point, just know that this is not the only four points that you can do or the four things that you can do to make yourself mentally strong. There are way more things out there, but these are just the things that I took upon myself to start off with helping myself to become more mentally strong. So the fourth thing, guys, is stand up for yourself. This probably was one of the hardest things that I had to do to become mentally strong. Reason being, guys, because I was so used of being a people pleaser. I was so used of going with the flow, not really standing up for myself, not really speaking up for myself. So I said, you know what? If I want to become strong, if I want to become a different person, if I want people to see me in a different light, I'm going to have to stand up for myself and tell people and show people who I really am, not who they think I am, not who they assume me to be, or not who they know who I am according to how they see me and how they treat me, but who I want to be seen as and who I want to be known as guys we got to speak up I tell my kids all the time I am not a mind reader mind readers are not just every we don't bump into them every day so we have to remember if I don't speak up if I don't tell people how I'm feeling, if I don't tell people what it is that I feel or my opinion about something, no one is ever going to know. 
And when you are able to speak up and speak out and show your side of yourself that's bold, that's fearless, you're like, hmm. I got this. I can accomplish anything. If I can tell this person this, or if I can go in front of this person and I can do this and I can speak up and speak out, I am strong. You know, we have to speak up for ourselves. That definitely helped me with becoming a definitely stronger mental person. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short but wonderful vlog. How you can make yourself mentally strong, guys. It's been a while since I just sat down and just did this. So I had to make sure that I keep the roots of peaceful ambition still here and always wanting to give advice to my tribe as well as anyone else that's listening. And again, guys, if you are new to peaceful ambition, go ahead and join the tribe. Hit that subscription button down below. Make sure you also find me on Instagram and Facebook as well as YouTube if you're watching me. If you're not watching me on YouTube, and don't forget to go over to peacefulambitions.com, get your peaceful ambitions purse. This is the scattered piece. As y'all see, I've been rocking her for a good little minute. This is like my go-to bag, guys. I love my purses. <laughs> I love them. I'm pretty sure you guys will too. Please go over to peacefulambitions.com and support, support, support. I love you guys. Find my other platforms andre and tiara's real dance all critics akira's journal and the wise family five peace out y'all hope you guys enjoyed this remember let your ambition be y'all peace